Every year, thousands of people line the streets to participate in one of the most cherished parts in Louisiana culture, Mardi Gras. But the adverse effects this holiday has on the environment are a cause for concern. Even parade goers are noticing the plastic waste is an issue. Mardi Gras beads, um, the production of it is already, I mean, I feel like senseless. <laughs> and then throwing them out on the street and not picking them up is um, not good for the environment and can cause a lot of harm. Associate professor at LSU, now Hiro Kato, is working on making Mardi Gras a little greener by formulating biodegradable beads that are made from bioplastic. And then I started noticing the, uh, this uh, microalgae can create accumulate oil that's ingredient of bioplastic materials. And then also learned that microalgae can also produce uh, uh, medi medicines and the ingredient such as a, a food supplement and good for your health. So that's actually commercial value is very, very high. Kato plans to use leftover microalgae to create the beads so that it compensates for the high cost of production. Uh, we extract the medical compound, so we use this leftover to make uh, the balloons. Kato's current prototype is made up of microalgae with small amounts of plastic oils. The lifespan of his beads can last up to three years. LSU is providing funding for the prototype, but funding for future endeavors will most likely rely on local investors. So it's not impossible, although it may be challenging. For LSU Tiger TV, I'm Fallon Brown.